What's up YouTube? So today I'm going to be ditching the one bar internal map sensor and I'm going to be replacing it with this three bar map sensor from Holly. Here is the part number. It's 554-107 and you could pick it up for about 130 bucks on Holly's site. Um, LMR just started carrying them. I got mine from Amazon. Um, so I'll be putting a link in my description. We're going to do some changes here. So if you go under your uh, global file, so we're going to open this up here under sensors and right where it says the internal one bar we're going to scroll down to holly where it says three bar 554-107 and you're going to get this pop-up um, map sensor type has been changed would you like to automatically have the map scales throughout the software update with the new sensor limits now this depends on your setup so if you have a custom setup um, uh, like I said I'm gonna leave th this is up to you guys depend on yourself if you have a custom one I'd probably click no but I'm going to show you guys something real quick. So I'm going to hit no real quick. Let's go back to the one bar real fast before we turn, uh, before we change that real fast. Um, now if you go under fuel, where it says base fuel, um, if you notice where it says uh, map KPA, if you see it only goes up to 105. And I believe yeah right here 105 when you hit learn table kpa now let's go back to the sensors here all right so let's switch this over so you go click three bar um i'm gonna hit yes because i don't have no custom settings or anything so we're gonna click yes now if we go back to base fuel uh, and you can see where it says map KPA instead of 105 it goes up to 315 Yep 315 for learn table So now apparently I'm just gonna get out of this real quick Okay, so we got everything switched over. That's all you really need to do as far as um, for your map sensor. Make sure you put it to uh, the three bar. And apparently these are more accurate. So instead of just having a vacuum line um, go from your manifold to the Holly ECU, um, you can see this guy, you can just put a vacuum line right here from your manifolds. This, this accepts the vacuum line and um, a plug-in. So I think you get um, more accurate readings. So when I install this, I'm going to show you guys real fast of why it comes with another connector here. There's a few options you, here for you. So you can either repin it or I don't know if you can really see in here it's probably hard it's not too much light but uh, when I install this I'll show you uh, what I'm talking about but there's uh, the notches are in different spots so you're gonna have to either have to cut out the notches on your harness or like I said you're gonna have to um, use this and repin everything so we're gonna go out into the garage and i will show you what i'm talking about all right so the first thing i'm gonna do is i want to disconnect the vacuum hose that i got running from the tree to the ecu so i'm going to disconnect that so i have a 88 i believe 89 through 93 had mass airflow 
So mine was actually speed density. And if you can see the existing holes, there's a bracket here. Map sensor was mounted to the bracket. So I'm gonna see if I could reuse those existing holes. Yeah, let me get this disconnected from the tree here. And then I'm gonna mount the, uh, the three bar map sensor. Maybe I could re reuse these holes or something. So let's see what we got. All right, so I took the vacuum hose out. Got my map bar mounted. I was gonna use those existing holes, but um, it was too wide. So, and this is the bracket um, that's supposed to go on there, but you can see how wide the holes are. So that didn't work out. So I had to drill two new holes um, I got the vacuum hose going from here and they say you should run it to your manifold directly to the manifold but I don't think it really matters as long as it goes to your vacuum tree but I don't think it really matters so I just got mine running from here to the intake manifold to the vacuum tree on the manifold that's what I was trying to tell you guys so if you look inside See the middle, right there in the middle slot, there's a slot right on the bottom, and then all the way to the right, there's another slot right there. And if you look inside here, inside the connector, um, you can see there's a notch here, and a notch right there so basically what we got to do is I got a slice right down the middle here underneath and on the outside of the right right here so I got cut a notch here and then right in the middle on the bottom it needs to be cut out so I'm gonna try to do that without having to you know recut everything and repin it all so I'm gonna see if I could just cut a little notch down the middle and on the side and then should be able to plug right on in so let's see what we can do here all right so I got everything installed got the connector on went on just fine so I cut the little notches on the side and one on the bottom and it went right on all right, so that completes the install. I have a Milwaukee rotary tool. Get a little small cutting disc, and that just went right down the sides. And, um, and it's just plastic, so it's gonna leave a little mess. So I use these little cutters to uh, trim up that plastic. So I just use that. Now you can use a sharp object, knife or razor knife, just heat up the tip. And remember, that's just plastic, so if you just heat up the tip of this razor knife and just score it, and it should cut pretty easy. All right, guys, well, that completes the install of the three bar map sensor. All right, so I'm going to end this video here. Don't forget to go under your global file and <clears throat> where it says map sensor, just make sure you change it to Holly three bar. And that's 554-107 and that completes the install hopefully you guys like this video and i will see you on the next one see ya